This explain everything is about the sliding filament mechanism in skeletal muscle. Uh, please excuse me if my voice sounds a little off. I am, as you know, a little bit sick here. So, but anyway, moving forward. We're going to look at each of the four stages of the sliding filament mechanism, and as we go through, I will discuss what is occurring at each stage. Let's first look at how everything is set up from the previous cycle. First thing to note that ATP is bound to the myosin head, okay? and the myosin head has detached itself from the actin, and the angle is at 45 degrees. So the first stage, ATP hydrolysis, what happens is the ATPase within that myosin head is going to hydrolyze the ATP to form a DPP plus phosphate. So these two uh, products of the reaction, ADP and plus, and plus phosphate, are going to remain bound to the myosin head at this point. The hydrolysis of the ATP is an exergonic reaction which releases free energy and that free energy is going to be used to change the conformation of the myosin head. So what it's going to do now is it is going to go and move and now it will be a 90 degree angle. Okay, So it's moved from a 45 to a 90 basically moving in a slight arc. Now let's for another thing I want to do is number these actin molecules. Okay, so let's just, ni ni just number that this was number one, this is number two, and this is number three. Okay, so now the myosin head is under the number two actin molecule. In the next stage, the phosphate group is released. Okay, this again causes a conformational change in the myosin head, and now what happens is that the myosin head becomes attached to the actin binding site. I was just listening to this and just realized I made a mistake. It's not called the actin binding site, it's called the myosin binding site on the actin molecule. In the previous stage, the phosphate was released and caused a conformational change. Now the ADP is going to be released and again triggering another conformational change and what happens is this 90 degree angle is going to go back okay, to the 45 degree angle. So now the myosin head is going to change its conformation okay, and it will have moved here remembering that the actin was bound to it. So if the head moves, so does the actin. Okay, so the movement through that arc is going to move the actin towards the M line. This is known as the power stroke. It is getting its energy because there was energy stored in that molecule from the previous ATP hydrolysis. In the final stage, detachment, a molecule of ATP binds to the myosin head and this causes the myosin head to detach from that binding site that was on the actin molecule. So it is now free to again start the cycle over again. And what I want you to appreciate is in the next cycle, as the head goes from a 45 to a 90 degree angle, okay, it is now going to be placed under the number three actin molecule. And when it completes its cycle and again goes back to the 45, okay, when it when it goes that way, it again is going to move or slide the actin filament towards the M line.